How does coffee affect blood vessels? When is it good to drink coffee? When is it better to abstain from drinking coffee? Let's take a look at the objective facts, tested and reviewed by qualified experts, when it is recommended to drink coffee and when it is best to abstain from it. If you want to be healthy, give us a like and let's get started. So, if you're watching your health, you should take a closer look at what we're about to tell you. And there are many reasons for that. Some of them you definitely didn't know about. A lot of people like to drink coffee. They drink it not only in the morning, but also in the afternoon, after lunch, and in the evening. Without even thinking about what effect coffee has on the blood vessels and on the whole body. Why does coffee affect blood vessels? Coffee contains substances such as caffeine, theophylline and theobromine, which dilate blood vessels, but at the same time increase the release of adrenaline, which narrows blood vessels. This is the paradox that occurs in the vascular response to coffee. First there is vasodilation and then there is vasoconstriction. Coffee is a stimulant of the body, promoting the production of adrenaline, the drink increases vitality, improves blood flow, stabilizes microhemodynamics. With moderate use of coffee, blood vessels as if exercised, first expanding and then narrowing, which has a positive effect on their tone. Has a positive effect on their tone. Caffeine, in addition to expanding blood vessels, also stimulates the heart, excites the nervous system, reduces blood viscosity. All this together stimulates blood flow. Theobromine is the antipode of caffeine, but its concentration in refried beans is small, so the effect on blood vessels is insignificant, but still weakens the effect of caffeine. Theophylline relaxes the vascular wall, improves blood flow in the vessels of the brain and lungs it has a bronchodilator effect, affecting not only the tone of blood vessels, but also the muscular wall of the bronchi. When is it good to drink coffee? Drinking one cup of coffee a day is good for everyone. For any person. But if you have an addiction to caffeine, you should drink it. You should not drink more than four cups of coffee a day. But it is reasonable to consume two to three cups of coffee a day in the following cases. In persistent hypotension, when blood pressure is constantly low, and from this weakness and drowsiness. If bradycardia is expressed, that is, a rare pulse, in which there are also symptoms of decreased body tone, constant fatigue is noted. With frequent migraines, you can try to exclude the use of coffee, this drink will improve blood flow in the cerebral vessels, which will help get rid of intrusive, sometimes intolerable headaches. The presence of edema, the appearance of bags under the eyes, swelling of the hands and feet, is an indication to drink an extra cup of coffee, because coffee, stimulating the vessels of the kidneys, has a diuretic effect and will remove excess fluid from the body. Severe pain during critical days in women, pronounced premenstrual syndrome, will pass completely or significantly reduced against the background of coffee. General weakness, drowsiness will pass after a few cups of coffee. But before you stimulate your body with coffee, you should consult your doctor and find out why you are experiencing these symptoms. Why you are experiencing these symptoms. After all, it could be a problem caused by a serious health condition, and drinking coffee may not only fail to have the expected effect, but also aggravate the condition. Coffee is quite an active drink, so in a number of changes in the body, it is not worth using it. In what cases is it better to refrain from drinking coffee? Do not tempt fate and drink coffee if There is a frequent increase in blood pressure. There are changes in blood flow in the vessels of the brain or heart, the circulatory encephalopathy, angina pectoris. There are cardiac arrhythmias, tachycardia. As well as the occurrence of extrasystoles. The condition after craniocerebral trauma, concussion, or contusion of the brain. There is an increase in intraocular pressure, glaucoma, intracranial pressure. There are aneurysms, areas of dilation, in the vessels of the brain. Veins in the esophagus or lower extremities are dilated, there are areas of thrombosis. Coffee in such situations should be treated with great caution and it is better to replace it with other drinks that do not so actively affect the body. What can be done to weaken the excitatory and stimulating effect of coffee? If you cannot do without coffee at all, if you are such an avid coffee addict that you cannot enjoy life without a cup of flavored drink, you can do the following. Use coffee from which caffeine has been removed, 
then the reaction on the body will be minimal, add milk to coffee or brew with milk. The alkaline environment will neutralize many of the stimulating properties of coffee. Along with coffee, eat a lemon slice with sugar or an orange slice with cinnamon. All these techniques will help you reduce the effects of coffee on your blood vessels. Drink coffee within reasonable limits. If you feel it is having a negative effect on your body, consult your doctor. More information on this topic can be found on our channel. Subscribe, put likes, and watch these useful videos. We are waiting for your comments.